AutoLine Daily is brought to you by Siemens PLM Software, transforming the process of innovation. Here are today's top headlines. Toyota expects to lose money for the first time ever. Canada kicks into the big three bailout kitty. And Honda says it will not meet sales targets with the new Insight Hybrid. Up next, we'll be back with the news behind the headlines. This is AutoLine Daily for Monday, December 22nd, 2008, and now the news. The global automotive market is going from bad to worse. Toyota announced today it expects to lose $1.7 billion for the current fiscal year and expects to lose money next year as well. Reuters reports that Toyota blames a big drop off in sales and a surge in the value of the yen. Toyota President Katsuaki Watanabe says this is the kind of crisis that only comes around once every 100 years. On the heels of the White House announcing it will bail out GM and Chrysler, the Canadian government says it'll provide another $3.3 billion in American dollars to the Canadian operations of those two companies. The auto industry in Canada directly employs over 150,000 people and represents 14% of the country's manufacturing output. What's up next for GM and Chrysler now that they've got part of their bridge loan? Well, now the hard bargaining starts. Creditors will be forced to take pennies on the dollar. Bondholders could see interest payments delayed. Dealers will be asked to break their franchise agreements. The UAW will have to make more concessions. And shareholders are going to see the value of their shares get diluted. China says it will scrap fees for highway tolls to offset an upcoming fuel tax. Beginning next year, China will raise taxes on fuel, but by scrapping highway tolls, China hopes to ease the financial burden of the gas tax for its drivers. And the recent gas drop in prices has caused sales of trucks and SUVs to grow and hybrids to drop. In fact, purchases of fuel-sipping hybrids tumbled more than 50% last month, and that has Honda worried. In a report from WardsAuto.com, the company admits that hitting its sales goal of 200,000 units a year for its redesigned Insight might be difficult. The new model launches in North America, Europe, and Japan next April. Chevrolet has unveiled its redesigned 2010 Equinox crossover ahead of the Detroit Auto Show in January. It features a host of new features like a backup camera and a smart remote starting system that activates the HVAC system and seat heaters based on the temperature outside. Under the hood, two different engines are offered, both with direct fuel injection. A 2.4-liter four-cylinder is standard, and a 3-liter V6 is optional. Both engines are paired with a six-speed automatic transmission, and the 2010 Equinox should go on sale by the middle of next year. Coming up next in our feature story, we'll take a look at the new Ford Fusion Hybrid. We'll be back right after this. Siemens, transforming the process of innovation. Much of the bailout talk in Washington centered on the need for the big three to make more hybrids. Well, Ford hopes to turn that spotlight on its showrooms with the introduction this spring of its Fusion Hybrid. This mid-sized car may provide Ford and consumers what both are looking for. With a spacious interior and trunk, there's plenty of room for everything from family to food, while still achieving best-in-class miles per gallon over the Toyota Camry Hybrid. The Fusion's 39 city, 37 highway is six miles per gallon better than Camry, thanks to the improvements made from Ford's 09 Escape Hybrid to the 2010 Fusion. We've downsized the battery uh, for the uh, Escape Hybrid, which is a 400 volt nominal battery. Now we have a 275 volt nominal battery. What that essentially means is we've downsized the battery in its physical dimensions, so uh, both from a weight and package volume that it takes up. And we've accomplished this by using more efficient cells, more high-powered cells. So we're getting 20% more power, 20% more efficiency, and we've downsized the battery and taken out about 50 pounds from the battery itself. And all this is accomplished by improved cell chemistry. The other key feature is that, um, that customers have demanded from us through all our interviews and clinics with them is that they want to stay in EV mode for a longer duration of time and up to higher speeds. Uh, this vehicle is capable of going up to 47 miles per hour in EV mode. So all electric mode, no engine coming on, and that's one of our key features we're offering with the Fusion Hybrid. 
The car also offers silent key start and electric AC, as well as Ford's Smart Gauge with EcoGuide, a new instrument cluster that helps maximize fuel efficiency, a future we'll take a closer look at in an upcoming show. Look for the 2010 Fusion and its Mercury cousin, the Milan Hybrid, to be in dealer showrooms sometime in the first quarter of 2009. And that's it for today's top news in the global automotive industry. But don't forget, you can get podcasts, transcripts, and a whole lot more at our website, AutolineDaily.com. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. Visit our website for even more great content all week long. AutoLine Extra, Don's Journal, Podcasts, and even more. So click over and get the inside view at AutoLineDetroit.tv.